area of three consecutive spaces of a cuboid are 12 cm square, 20 cm square and 15 cm square. Now you know what a cuboid is. That's like a rectangular box. Length, breadth and height. If you look at these three faces, all the three are different. You know that in a cuboid, the opposite faces are equal. Then for example, if you consider uh, you know, a rectangular box there, the two opposite faces, let's say length into breadth is the area. So this is length into breadth, the opposite will also be length into breadth. Then these two will be length into height length into height, these two opposite faces. Again bottom and top, you know, length in, uh, breadth into height, breadth into height, right? whichever way you take. So the point is, the two opposite cases are equal in case of a cuboid. But here if you observe, all the three are different, which means all the three types of faces have been given here. Are you able to follow? If you try to draw a cuboid, you know that this is the length L here is the breadth, let's say B, and this is the height. Right? There are three types of faces. One is this face, the base. What is the base length into breadth? Base is length into breadth, top is also length into breadth. Then this face, what is this? Breadth into height. This is also breadth into height. And then the front face, what is the front face? Length into height. The back face is also length into height. Right? Now the point to be noted here is all these three faces have been given here. So I can say that you know, in whatever order, length into breadth is equal to 12 and breadth into height is equal to 20 and uh, length into height is equal to 50. These are the three equations given to us, right? Length into breadth is 12, breadth into height is 20, length. or in any order you take, doesn't really uh, affect our answer. Now three equations, three variables you can solve, right? You know that we need to find out the volume. Volume of a cuboid is equal to length into breadth into h, L into B into H. So to get the volume, you need to know what is length, breadth and height. So three equations, three variables can be solved to get each of those values and then you can get the volume. But a smart way of solving this question would be to multiply all these three equations. Instead of trying to solve them, which is very complicated, just multiply the three equations. So what do we get if you multiply all of them? LB into BH into LH is equal to 12 into 20 into 15. Now if you observe L into L, L square, B into B, B square, H into H, H square. So that's like L, B, H whole square is equal to 12 into 20, 2400 into 15, 3600. But what we need is L, B, H. So we can say L, B, H will be square root of 3600 which is 60, 60 centimeter cube of course, which is option B here. Alright, so simple, multiply all the three values there and take the square root of them to get the answer.